Okay. Hey! We're so far away, but yet so close. So close. The next thing we're going to talk about <laughs> is going to be protein. So protein, again, is going to be like that delivered log. Now what you want to think about is protein is going to be anything that came from what? Um, anything that flew, walked, sorry, my fingers don't work that well, or swam. So anything that flew, walk, or swam. So you're going to have like your chicken, your Poultry. your land animal, yeah, with your beef and your, your pork. Cow. And then what is in the swimming section? The aquatic animals the that fishes. I don't eat. No, me neither. But they're proteins. Now yes. proteins are going to help to build muscle. They're going to help for recovery, and they're also going to help to be the biggest thing to boost your metabolism and keep that fire going. Now when's the best time to consume your protein, ma'am? Post workout. Why? Feed those muscles correctly. Your muscles are like sponges after a workout, so you. Don't don't want to throw a bunch of nonsense on there. You want clean protein. Feed the muscles. Yes, and it'll be quick in, quick out. It's going to get all that fuel. It's really going to help to actually absorb mm -hmm. and stick and help for that recovery process and keep your fire burning hot. Very hot. hot. Okay, so carbohydrates are going to be like your sticks, your lighter fluid, your quick, easy burning yes. fuel. Now, every single carbohydrate gram is going to have how many calories? Four calories. And where do they come from? Ooh. From all the good stuff yeah. that I love Pasta, to eat. Pasta, potato, bread, rice, rice, sugar, fruit. All of it. Yeah, all the yeah, good stuff. all the good stuff. Now, the best time for carbohydrates is going to be when? Pre-workout. You want that energy, that quick, fast acting um, calories right before your workout so it gives you a boost of energy and you burn them off. You don't let them sit and collect in your body, not burn them off. Then which turns to sugar. And stores in the bad yes, areas. Yes, and stores in all those areas you don't want it to. So use them before activity. So pre-workout would be one. If you're somebody that's got a fast paced moving job in the morning, then go ahead and include some fruit or some type of carbohydrate with your breakfast, yep. but always make sure you jumpstart that metabolism in the morning with protein also. So the last component we're going to be talking about is that smoking wet, slow burning log. And those are going to be like your fats. Exactly. Now your fats are going to come from like nuts, oil, seeds, animal meats, and things like that. Mm -hmm. Now they burn slow and they're not as efficient, but they also give you more energy per gram. So every gram of fats is going to have how many? Nine calories, not your four that you thought I was going to say. Yes. So they actually have more than double the amount of calories, which most people think calories is bad, but calories is actually energy. Mm -hmm. So when you want to look at it with fats is you want to eat them when you're not going to be as active. So they have a chance to burn off slower. So that's going to be like after activity, later Later in the evenings, things that are going to stop you from wanting to eat again 30 and 40 minutes yes. later, like carbohydrates would leave exactly. you. Exactly. They yeah. should keep you fuller longer. Satiety. So <laughs> fats keep you full. Protein is what helps to rev the metabolism. Carbs are going to be that quick acting to get that fire started hot quickly and before activity. Other than that, guys, it should be pretty easy to put everything yep. into play. Anything else? That's it. Uh -huh. Go light your fires. Yeah. Ooh. Huh? <laughs> Light this fire, bitch. I got nothing. <laughs>